Hello and welcome back to learnaboutice.com. I'm super excited to tell you I am introducing a new format of video, something more for the experienced residents. I am starting to review products that help you become a better surgeon or better doctor. In this series, I'm going to try out some products that I either bought myself or got sent by some companies and tell you my honest opinion whether this is something that is going to make you a better surgeon or a better doctor or whether it's not worth your or your clinic's money. So let's get started with the first product. My friends over at Philips Studio Eye were nice enough to send me a sample of their PS011 Capex Eye, an eye that is supposed to help you get better at your capsulorexis. So let's see what's in the box. So when you open the box, this is what you see. You get an even tinier box with all these sheets of plastic in it that are supposed to be your capsule. They're really thin and shiny. You get a little container with all the lenses in it and you get the actual eye. The actual eye is made out of two parts. You're supposed to put one of the lenses into the bottom part, then put a sheet of capsule over it and put the top part on and then you're good to go. All right, that looks pretty promising so far. So now I have to go test it out in the OR and tell you what I think. So let's go. All right, so here we are in the OR and we are going to test that CapEx eye. Let's take it out of the box. There's a little instruction manual that comes with it and we're going to set it up. This is the eye itself, if I turn it I can take out this part. I can take a little lens out. And I'm gonna put this lens in here. Then we're gonna take one of these sheets. We're going to put that fake capsule over the lens and then put this on. So you could be working with just the eye on a table, but since I do have this practice head, I will use it and put the eye into here. So now we have the eye on the practice head. Let's dive in and check out how this feels without any filling of the anterior chamber. All right, this is Capsulorexis under air. Reflections suck a little bit. All right, feels pretty good so far. Maybe a bit too elastic -y for my taste. I just did one capsular axis with air inside of the eye. It is very hard to see and the capsule didn't actually react like a real capsule. So let's try something new. All right, so now let's put in some viscoelastic into that eye see how the visibility is afterwards and how and if the capsule reacts differently. Looks pretty good like this. Go in with the forceps. Oh yeah, that feels much better. It looks much better, feels much better. Okay, that was pretty good. That was much, much better than using it with air. I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'm gonna get back to you with my thoughts and results. All right, if you use it without the head, you need a sticky surface. Otherwise, it just slides around. So here's another issue. Because it's a two-part eye, 
and this head has a hole on the bottom, the bottom part just keeps falling out all the time. So you would need something like this, but with out a hole here but if you put it on the table it keeps sliding around so you kind of have to find a solution for that take some tape and just tape it down and then you should be good to go So another issue, if you're using this elastic, you have to clean it after every Rexis because otherwise it's just a huge mess. So here's my final verdict. Should you get the Philips Studio Eye Capex? If you're looking for the most lifelike human feeling, this is not for you. As I mentioned, these films do not feel like a human capsule much more like a pig eye. That doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. I think the actual idea and the construction is very, very good. This gives you a perfect base that you can build on and you can start developing your skills pretty cheaply. So the set is not very expensive and you just have to get a 27 gauge needle and a one millimeter syringe, probably available at your clinic or you get a cheap capsule orexis forceps and you're good to go. These films are definitely good enough for the beginner to do your first steps. You can learn how to pivot in the incision. You can learn how to fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. You don't even need one of these practice heads. All you need is a book or something a bit elevated you tape this eye onto something, take the microscope and you're good to go. Also, if you're someone like me who likes to experiment with different instruments, different materials, this is definitely a good base for you. You can use this with the original lens that they give you, or you can build different lenses and see how they feel. You can experiment with different films. You can use the film right here, you can use films from other companies, you can use something that you find at your home. I think in the future there's going to be a upgrade where they solve the problem with the foil and where they solve the problem of the thing plopping out all the time. Now let's get back to the studio. All right, that was it for the review of the Philips Studio Eye Capex PS011. If you want to buy it, I'll put some links in the description down below. If you like this new format, please tell me so I can continue making videos like this. If you don't like it at all, tell me that as well. And as always, see you in the next video.